Welcome to Connected and Respected. Welcome to Connected and Respected. Today, we're going to be talking about listening and helping with feelings. So first, let's get ourselves ready to learn. Let's get our feet ready to learn. Let's get our bottoms ready to learn. Let's take a deep breath up and get our shoulders ready to learn. Let's get our necks ready to learn. Let's get our hands ready to learn. Let's get our ears ready to learn and our eyes ready to learn. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is a circle about when we don't like things, okay? So it might help us to think about a couple of examples that we don't like. For example, last night we read this storybook called The Lorax and we said we didn't like it when the onceler polluted the place because it wasn't kind. So that was something we didn't like. And when the onceler said mean words. And when he said mean words. So those are some things that people might not like, right? Or we said, oh, it was really cold outside today and we didn't, like one of us said it was really cold and we didn't like it, right? So those are the kind of things that people might not like, you know? And, um, you know, another thing might be like when somebody, you're trying to tell a story and someone interrupts, right? Or you run out of time to do something you really wanted to do. These are all things that people might not like, okay? So um, we're going to play a game. And we're, um, we're going to pass this around. This is like our feelings ball. We're going to pass it around to each other. And each person is going to say, I don't like it when. And the other person, when it's their turn, has to say, oh, that person doesn't like it when, and I don't like it when, and say a new situation. Okay? So, I'll start. Um, I don't like it when um, people pollute the planet. So, you say, Miss Marie Isabel. Miss Marie Isabel doesn't like it when people. And then you can say, I don't like it when... I don't like it when people say mean words. I guess I don't like it when people say mean words. I don't like it when um, people tease me. Olivia doesn't like it when people tease her. I don't like it when people don't listen. Miss Marie Isabel doesn't like it when people don't listen. I don't like it when people um, throw away too much garbage. I don't like it when people... Marcus doesn't like it when people throw away too much garbage. I don't like it when people put other recycling in garbage. And have garbage and recycling. Olivia doesn't like it when people mix the recycling with the garbage with the recycling. I don't like it when I don't like it when people um, people don't share. Okay, how about we stop it right there? Okay. Um, <coughs> So I'm just going to go over what we're going to do today. We already accomplished one thing. We did their I don't like it when circle, okay? And um, we're also going to talk about, let's, let's read out loud what we're going to learn about today. Um, we're going to be working on what is probably the most important skill a person can have, the ability to really, really listen and understand others. We've been talking about feelings how important they are, and how they are communicated. In our gathering, we practiced a very important listening skill. We're going to do another game that will allow us to play this skill called Pete and Repeat. And then we're going to practice the things people do to show that they're really, really listening. Next, we're going to review what we did, and then we're going to have a closing. Okay? Our next activity is called Pete and Repeat. Can you say Pete and Repeat? Pete and Repeat. So one of the ways that we can make sure that 
um, we really understood and listened to what someone said is to repeat it or say it back. And so say it back in the way we thought we heard it, okay? This makes sure that we have heard the person correctly, and it also lets the other person know that we were really, really listening to what they have to say. How might somebody feel if we really, really listen to them? Happy. You happy? Yes, Olivia? Um, really so happy. Really so happy. They might feel loved, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so take a moment and think about something you like to do after school. Don't say it out loud yet, okay? Everybody put on your thinking cap and think about something you like to do after school. Okay, now we're going to decide who's going to be Pete and who's going to be repeat. I want to be Pete. You would like to be Pete? Can you be repeat? And then we'll have another turn where you get to be Pete and he's repeat. Okay, so Pete, your job is to say what you like to do after school. Repeat, your job is to say it sounds like you and repeat back what Pete says. Okay, ready? All right. I'd like to go home and take a nap. It sounds like he likes to go home and take a nap. Okay, are you ready to switch? Yeah. Okay, this time you're Pete, and you get to share what you like to do after school. And he'll be repeat, and he gets to say, it sounds like, to show you really, really was listening. Anyone want to share? I like to play baseball, and um, football, and play with your cat. She likes to play pink. Baseball, football, and playing in your cat. Thanks for trying out Pete and Repeat. Do you think that's something you repeat. could... Oh, Pete and Repeat. <laughs> do you think that's something you could do to help people know that you were really, really listening to me? Yes! Okay. Raise your hand if you know something else that people do to really, really listen. Show that they're really, really listening. Yes, Olivia? Um, put their eyes on the... <gasps> they could put their eyes on the person. Yes, Marcus? Um, feet down. Oh, they could on have, the grass. have their, their body still so that the person knows that they're giving them their full attention. Okay, what else? That's two things. And, uh, um, Show them that you have your listening ears on and do not talk while you're talking. You could not talk while they're not talking. Anything else? Um, <clears throat> you could um, put your listening ears on. Okay. You know what, guys? You thought of all the things that were going to be on our checklist. Having your eyes on the person. Having your body turn towards them and still focusing your ears and your attention on them and not interrupting and talking while they talk. Those are all um, the things. How did we do that? We must have been practicing listening a lot. Huh. Okay, so we're going to do something to practice those listening skills. Libby, can you remember your body part of this piece? Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's get our body ready for listening. Okay? So we're each going to share a feeling we have had lately. Should we have our eyes on the computer? Okay, we should have our eyes on each other, right? Because that's the listening skill. Okay, yeah. So a feeling I have had lately, okay? And we're going to give that each person about some time to talk about it. And... Um, and um, then we're going to give them their full attention, okay? Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Um, a feeling I have had lately was yesterday I was feeling really exhausted and sick. My tummy hurt and my head hurt and my body was really, really, really tired. And I didn't feel good. Does anybody want to be my repeat? Yes. Um, you, you didn't feel good, and you were coughing, and 
Choking. Uh, I read out of words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Some of the words were right on target, Marcus, and some of the words were different, but it showed me that you understood that I didn't feel so good yesterday. Let's see, how did we do well? Were your eyes, was everybody's eyes on me? Yes. Was everybody's body still? Yes. Yeah. Was everybody focusing on the speaker? Yes. Did anybody interrupt? No. There was no interruptions. Okay, let's have Libby be the speaker this time, and let's show eyes, body, focus, and no interrupting to her. Can you tell us about a feeling you've had lately? Um, I was feeling sad about we couldn't do all the crystal thing. Now I'm happy because now we get to do half of it. Who would like to be repeat for her? I'll do it. Okay. It sounds like you were feeling really bummed out and sad because you had been all excited about making the crystal art project and then you found out that we wouldn't have time to do all of it. But then you started thinking about it and feeling okay about it because we were going to do part one time and then part later. Did I get it right? Yes. How do you think we did? Did we have eyes on the speaker? Did we have a body that was focused and listening and attentive? No. I think so. I think so. Um, but maybe that's the part we work on, huh? Would we have our ears on the speaker and focused? Did anyone interrupt her? No. Okay, so how did it feel, guys, to have people really, really listen to what you said? You gave it a thumbs up, two thumbs up. How did it feel for you? Yeah? Because he did, then, um, because he didn't stay still. Oh, okay, so that can be something we can work on, huh? Is there anything you want to work on to be a better listener to? To, um, stay still. Stay still. I think she was that, um, I will work on really concentrating and focusing and not thinking about my to-do list when people are talking. When someone really, really listens to you, how does it feel? When you really, really listen, bless you. When you are a really good listener for your friends or your family or people you know or people you don't know, how does that feel for you? Yeah, okay. So being able to be a good listener is a skill we can all learn. We can all learn how to have our bodies still when someone's talking and show them that we're really listening. We can all learn how to have our eyes on the speaker and really show them that we're really listening to what they say. We can all learn more about being focused and we can all learn about not interrupting. Huh? These are all things that help the people around us feel really good. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So our last thing we're going to do is share about things that make us laugh because we can help each other share feelings when we're not feeling good and we need support, but we can also help each other feel joy. Okay. So one thing that makes me laugh is when I'm roller skating and I almost fall, but I don't. <laughs> one thing that makes me laugh is that... I think I'm doing this, but I really fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what I think is that like, I'm falling even though I'm holding the car. What <laughs> 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 that makes me laugh is when Daddy impersonates Kermit the Frog. <laughs> huh? When Daddy impersonates, uses the Kermit the Frog voice. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. What's one thing that makes you laugh? Um, when Olivia does this. <laughs> 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 you do that. What's one thing that makes you laugh? Um, when Marcus does. <laughs> <laughs> I did not do that. So thanks, guys, for sharing about all these fun, joyous, laughing things. And really listening to each other. It just shows how we can feel when we really share with each other and listen to each other and are with each other in the moment. Huh. Can you say, stay in your seats? 
and say thanks for joining us. Thanks, thanks for, for joining. joining.